Hello, my lovelies. Welcome back to my channel. For those of you guys that are new, welcome. My name is Pinky and teaching you witchcraft and tarot is what I do. For those of you guys returning, welcome back, my lovelies. Here we are doing another reading for you guys. This is going to be for those of you guys that are wanting to see or know who's hating on you. We're going to do all the zodiac signs. If you guys are interested in any of the services that I provide, go ahead and click the link description below. You'll be able to find all our links on there. Let's begin. Of course, we're going to begin here with our lovely Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. It is Scorpio season. Allow us to see clearly and concisely who is hating on Scorpio. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Who is hating on our lovely Scorpio? Let's see what's going on with you Scorpios out there. All right, let's begin. We have here the Ten of Wands, the Queen of Wands, Seven of Coins, the Star card, ooh, the Chariot, and the Hanged Man. All right, underneath we have the King of Cups. So I feel for a lot of you, for a lot of you Scorpios out there, there is this energy about you guys, and of course I don't need to tell you guys. <laughs> you guys are very charismatic people. You guys draw in a lot of attention. I feel like the person that may be hating on you may, may be connected to your work or finances. This is someone that definitely sees you as competition. Someone that does not like the fact that you are the star of the show. Um, for some of you guys, it could be a female energy, um, fire energy, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries type of energy, or another, uh, a cancer as well, or a person that carries those characteristics of a cancer. So it's usually someone that could be a bit manipulative, someone that um, I see has a lot of like kissing ass to do with the boss or with the people in the higher up. Uh, this is someone that can portray themselves as a friend. Again, like I said, I feel for the majority of you guys, it's someone that is in your workplace, someone that sees you as major competition. They see you as the star of the show. And that's the reason why it's almost like you bring out their insecurities. Uh, so this is definitely someone you may want to, uh, even if you have, because I feel like for some of you guys, this could be a person that pretends to be a friend. So try the best you can to not give a lot of details about your life to this person or to anyone at work, to be completely honest. Um, it's good for them to know about you, but not to know exactly what's going on in your life. I feel like that just draws in more envious type of energy, especially with this with this person here. So again, I feel that it is someone that is in your workplace or someone that you may be, maybe a colleague, um, a co-worker, someone that uh, is in your surroundings, is in your energy. However, they come across as, um, and I feel for a lot of you Scorpios, you know exactly who I'm talking about because it's it's giving me much of the energy of like a two-face. Um, and I know you guys are really good with picking up with that type of energy. All right, my lovelies, moving on. Yikes. Okay. Let's look into... Sagittarius, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see who is hating on you. Who is hating on you? Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. My lovely Saggies. Who do you need to protect your energy from? All right, here we go. Sagittarius. We have the Eight of Cups, the Nine of Coins, the Four of Wands. The two of coins, the four of swords, and the queen of swords. So I feel for a lot of you Sagittarians, this could be an air sign. It could be Aquarius, Libra, Gemini type of energy. This is someone that is very connected to your bloodline. So for some of you guys, this could be a cousin or like a distant cousin. Uh, this is someone that, again, is in your family energy. However, I see them... Um, not necessarily very close. It's not like brother, sister. It's more like cousins or faraway cousins type of energy. This is someone that does not like, um, doesn't like your energy. And I feel like they're extremely judgmental. With the four of swords, you at some point, Sagittarius, you could have been close to this person um, or like trusted them or confided in them. But I feel like you were able to pick up on their duality on their two-faced type of energy 
and you created distance because the four of swords here indicates to me that there was a falling out. There was a uh, pulling away from them or completely detaching from them. Uh, so there is distance here involved, but I feel like from a distance, they watch you. They could be watching your social medias. They could be asking family members about you, but this is a person that will not let go of something, something that they're holding on to that was probably, they felt like you did to them in the past. Um, I don't see, however, any type of wrongdoings. I just feel like this person is a bit judgy because it's more of a reflection of them than it is of who you are as a person. Um, could be that at some point they asked you for some type of help, some type of assistance or some type of money, and they never paid you back for some of you guys. And that's where uh, the pulling away or the, you know what, fine, don't pay me, but like get your energy away from me type of energy um, type of scenario happened here. Uh, for others of you, it could have been that they came to you for some type of help, some type of assistance. Uh, for some you, I feel like for a lot of you guys, you did favors for this person. Um, even if you did favors for them and it's, it, it's almost like a person that needs a favor. You do them the favor, but then they resent you for being able to do that favor. Do you see what I'm saying? So again, I feel like it's someone that's close or was close related to you. All right, moving on here, we're going to go to Capricorn, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see who is hating on our Capricorns, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Who do they need to protect their energy from? Who's hating on our Capricorns, Cappies, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If you guys like these videos, like, share, and comment, don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you are new to the channel. All right, here we go, Cappy. You have the Hanged Man. You have the Emperor card, the Strength card, the Nine of Cups, the Nine of Swords, and the Ace of Cups. Okay. King of Cups energy. Again, I feel like for some of you guys, you're dealing with people. And when I say people, I don't feel like it's just one person that's hating on you, Capricorn. I feel like there is a variety of people that feel some type of resentment or some type of, I don't want to go as far as to say anger, but I feel like for some of you guys, it could be someone that has some type of anger towards you because the emperor and the strength card speaks to me about a lot of people see you Capricorn as like made of steel is what I'm hearing. So they can see you extremely independent or they can see you extremely strong, courageous. These are qualities or attributes that they wish they possessed or that they wish they had. And they kind of resent you for that. I feel like they see you as extremely blessed. Um, they see you as extremely blessed or extremely protected. And this is something that doesn't sit well with them. Of course, they would not know about your hardships and the difficulties that you've been through, right? For Capricorns, it's never easy. From birth, it's never easy, right? Your ruling planet Saturn doesn't give you things for free, even if it's your planet. You have to overcome those obstacles. You have to, you're blessed. Yes, you are. But you're blessed because of the hardships that you go through. And people don't see that because they, they're not with you in the process of struggle. They only see from the from the outside in what they assume your life to be. And they assume your life to be amazing, right? Now, for some of you guys, this could be an Aries. It could be an Aries that was an ex-lover or someone that, was, that you were emotionally connected to. For some of you guys, this person thought or felt uh, like at some point you would go back or like at some point you would need them. And they've realized that their life hasn't bettered after you. So I feel like there is resentment because there was some type of rejection here. They probably thought that you would come crawling back to them. Of course, we all know Capricorns would never do that, right? You guys have difficulty letting go because you like to work things out. You Nothing is easy for you guys. So you don't crave easiness, right? But when you decide to walk away from something, you're done and you don't look back. And I feel like this person... They they kind of 
what's the word I'm looking for? They kind of, you know, thought that you would come back into their life or that you would be the one to reach out or be the one to tell them, you know, that you need them. But you did it. And I feel like they see you from afar. They see that you're doing great or there was some type of glow up with you. And that's not sitting well with them. Why? Because they realized that you were a blessing to them. And they didn't understand that until now. So there is a bit of resentment there. But I see multiple people looking at you, Capricorn, and looking at you sideways. And I feel like it's because they hate the fact that you carry yourself with such authority or with such dominion, such confidence and power. Um, with the 10 of swords, though, again, sorry, nine of swords, it, you have what you have because you've earned it. And that's what people don't understand. They were only at the either in the very beginning and they messed that up with you. And then you got other people that were where you're at now, where you're what you're going through or where you are headed, which is stability and security. And it's easy for them to assume that everything's been easy for you because they weren't there in the struggle. All right. Moving on here. We are going to Aquarius. Let's see. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Who is hating on Aquarius? Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Who is hating on Aquarius? Who does Aquarius need to protect their energy from? Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right, here we go. You have the Three of Wands. The Four of Cups, the Ace of Swords, Knight of Coins, King of Wands, and the Ten of Coins. All right, Aquarius, you were dealing with someone from your past that perhaps let you down or perhaps you walked away from because you realized that you could do so much better. And this person is really in their feelings about it. And I'm even hearing like they've, put your name or have put your name out there. Like you were the ungrateful, you were the one that didn't appreciate them. When in reality, it was the other way around. I feel that there was rejection here and they can deal with that type of rejection, especially because we have the King of Wands here. So it could be a person that is either extremely physically attractive or someone that they think and view themselves as extremely attractive. And they can't believe that you rejected them. They can't believe that you didn't realize, you know, they couldn't deal that you didn't realize how great they are, but it's not that they're great. It's that that's their perception of themselves. But I feel like you kind of caught on or you kind of got tired of the bullshit and you chose yourself. You chose clarity and you walked away from someone that was only willing to put in the work, like half asset, basically. Um, this is an ex-partner. This is someone that hasn't been able to move on from you or someone that is still trying to look into what's going on in your life. Um, this could be for some of you guys, this can also be like, if there's children involved, this could be an ex-partner, uh, someone that you were married to or someone that there was a definite committed relationship here. But I feel like, for the sake of your sanity, for the sake of yourself or your children, you had to walk away from this situation and they resent you for that. All right. It's always sad when people don't take self-responsibility. When a relationship goes wrong, it's, of course, if you did everything you possibly can and the person steps out and they cheat on you, that's one thing. But it's a completely different thing when two people, you know, are trying to work it out and are trying to put the effort and energy and it just doesn't work out. But in this situation, it's almost like they don't want to take responsibility. They want to put the full blame on you, Aquarius. All right, moving on here. Let's see what's going on with Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Who is hating on Pisces? Who is hating on Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? 
who's hating on Pisces? Who does Pisces need to protect their energy from? Okay, one more shuffle. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, here we go, Pisces. We have the Knight of Swords, the Hermit, the Eight of Swords, the Two of Wands, the Nine of Cups, and the Four of Swords. All right, Pisces. So I see a person that is looking at you from a distance. They could be watching your social medias, uh, even trying to be around friends or people that know you to ask about your business. I feel like at some point you were close to this person, but there was a pulling away. This person was acting sketchy, like off the bat, this person was acting sketchy, especially for some of you guys that are in relationships. I feel like you felt their energy like off or like there was something weird going on. This is the type of friend that will tell you you could do better, but behind you is trying to like holler at your girl or holler at your guy uh, type of energy. If this is resonating, then this is exactly the person they're talking about. It's someone that tried to cross a certain line with you. Um, and you became aware of that and you either pulled away or you stopped, you know, effing with them, but they still look at what you're doing. They still are trying to, you know, be all up in your business because they see you and this jealousy is coming from some type of relationship. So again, I feel like this is the type of friend that if at some point this person told you like, oh, you could do so much better, like, you know, you deserve better, like you should just walk away from them, then went back and tried to get at your partner, or try to message them or try to connect with them. This is petty type of energy. So you're better off without that type of energy, Pisces. All right, moving on here. Let's see what's going on with Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Who is hating on Aries? Who does Aries need to keep their energy away from? Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If you guys like these videos, like, share, and comment. Like I said, if you're new, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. All right, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. See what's going on with Aries. Who's hating on Aries? We have temperance here, Sagittarius type of energy. The Hierophant could be ter uh, Taurus energy as well. Wheel of Fortune, Taurus, Scorpio energy, Ace of Swords, whoops, Strength card, and the Knight of Wands. Okay. Aries, I feel like if you're dealing with someone or you've been in a relationship for a bit, I feel that there's a lot of hate, not necessarily towards you, but towards that relationship. So this is giving me the energy of like friends, family members, um, not necessarily getting along with your partner, or it could be your partner that doesn't get along with your family, especially those of you guys that are extremely close to your family. I feel like they've tried to create some type of, some type of like wedge between you and your family. You may be dealing with a partner that's extremely like protective or extremely like overprotective, I should say, someone that, and, and here's something that I'm hearing for a lot of you, Aries, if you're dealing with the person that often always complains about your family, what they're trying to do is they're trying to seclude you. They're trying to keep you isolated because it's easier to manipulate a person that is isolated than a person that has a big loving family or that has a lot of love and support. Because when you have love and support, it's easier for you to see things from different perspectives because everyone gives you input. Whereas when you're alone and isolated, no one knows what's going on with you, so they can't really advise. Um, if you are dealing with this type of energy, I feel like it's not so much hate. Um, it's hating energy that they're trying to create a wedge between you and your family. Um, but I feel like it has more to do with the partner. Now, for others of you, it could be that it's just a lot of hate that's coming towards the relationship because there is people in your family or friend group or people around you that the partner you're dealing with doesn't very well sit well with them. And I feel like there is a major issue. Um, for some of you guys, it could be a person or someone that you dealt with in the past that has like a bit of a history or maybe they're a player, playgirl type of energy. And a lot of people are not okay with the fact that um, they are now being with you. So I feel like they're looking at the situation. There's, 
you know, rumors and a lot of things that are going on, but I feel like it's impacting the relationship again. Um, this is a general rating, so I can connect with a lot of you guys in different ways, but I immediately thought with the Hierophant and, you know, temperance here, I feel like there is a situation that needs to create some type of balance. Um, and like I said, if you are in a committed relationship, if your partner is trying to isolate you or often complaining or talking bad about your family, just remember that at the end of the day, um, our relationships can falter and they can come to an end. But at the end of the day, those that truly care for you and love you are always going to have your back. They're always going to be there, whether you're with this partner or whether you're not. So just keep that in mind. All right, moving on. Let's see what's going on with Taurus. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Who is hating on Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? Who's hating on my lovely Taurus? Who does Taurus need to protect their energy from? Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. One more shuffle. Thank you, Spirit. All right, here we go. Let's see who's hating on Taurus. Yeah, the Eight of Swords. Sorry, the Ace of Swords Temperance card here. The Ten of Wands, Judgment, the King of Swords, and the Ten of Coins. Taurus, I feel like you are getting a lot of hate from an ex-partner, someone that was with you or you were in a committed relationship with. With the Ten of Wands, it, it came to some type of end, some type of um, some type of conclusion with temperance being right at the center. I feel like for a lot of you guys, it was self-preservation. So what I mean by that, you could have been dealing with someone or be in a relationship that was extremely toxic and you chose yourself or you chose to walk away from this because it was no longer healthy. Um, and I feel like there is a lot of resentment from this ex-partner. However, with the Ace of Swords here and the Ten of Wands, sorry, the Ten of, yeah, Ten of Wands here, um, with this king of swords could be Gemini, Aquarius, or Libran energy. But I feel like I feel like it was the partner that could have potentially stepped out, or it could have been the ex, the one that wasn't really putting in the work, yet they resent you because you didn't want to deal with their bullshit, basically. Um, with the judgment, it's it's them putting the the blame or like all the they're not taking no responsibility, whatever, and and they're putting all that responsibility on you like it was Taurus the one that gave up on this relationship it was Taurus the one that walked away it was Taurus the one that was in being patient with me that type of energy so it's giving me a bit of narcissistic energy it's giving me a bit of toxicity type of energy with temperance again and the ten of coins you had to choose yourself or this was a cycle where you needed to learn about self-love and self-preservating yourself and thinking for yourself, which is why it led you to walking away from this connection. But I feel like it's something that they still haven't either gotten over or haven't figured out why you didn't come crawling back to them, which blows my mind. But, you know, it's kind of like the situation where that partner cheats on you and then they turn around and tell you, well, I cheated because you weren't giving me attention type of energy. All right, moving on. Let's see what's going on with Gemini's. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If you guys are interested in any of the services that we provide, you can look at the description box below and be able to find all of our links on there for personal readings, spell work, um, any of the tools or ingredients for spell work. You can find all of that on there. All right, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Who is hating on Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? Who does Gemini need to protect their energy from? All right, here we go. Gemini, we have the three of swords, nine of swords, holy shit, eight of wands, two of cups, ace of wands, and the knight of wands. All right, can have to look, seven of swords. So you're dealing definitely with a fuck boy, fuck girl type of energy. There is a individual that you were dealing with or perhaps recently broke up with or perhaps no longer dealing with Someone that betrayed you, betrayed your trust, someone that lied or deceived you. Um, and it's almost like they feel that everything that's going wrong in their life, it's your fault. 
right? Because ever since you guys broke up or separated, life has been really hard on them. But it's almost like they're putting all the blame on you. They put themselves in very shitty situations, very shitty uh, circumstances. And they're the ones to play the victim role. They're the ones to point at the world. It's everyone's fault except my own because I make stupid ass decisions. That's what it is. Um, and it's definitely a past lover. It's someone that is going to try to manipulate you or perhaps has tried to manipulate you in the past to coming back into your life. But the reason why is because it's more convenient for them to deal with you or to have you in their life, whether it's because you're there for them emotionally or whether it's because they rely on you. Um, my advice is if you are, if you recently, there was some type of breakup or separation because there is deception, there is deceiving, all this shit. I feel like a lot of things are still being revealed to you. Do not allow this person to manipulate you or emotionally manipulate you. Um, because I feel like they guilt trip you a lot for others of you, Gemini, it doesn't have to be an ex-partner. It could be someone that you're related to. So it could be a sister, brother, mother, father type of energy, someone that is constantly manipulating you and putting you in a situation where you feel sorry for them because that's how you do them favors. But in reality, it's that they make very dumbass decisions and they don't want to take responsibility for their own actions. It always blows my mind when People that are extremely toxic and take advantage of you also resent you because you're able to provide or you're able to do. It's like, why are they able to do that? And I can't, but yet they're the first ones to put their hand out so that you can give them something. You know what I mean? Like, that's crazy. But anyways, moving on, let's see what's going on with, whoops, we got a card flying out. I'm going to flip it. Let's see what's going on with Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Who's hating on Cancer? Who is hating on Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? Who does Cancer need to protect their energy from? All right, here we go. Cancer, we have the Three of Swords again. Nine of Swords again. Eight of Wands again. The Sun. For some of you... um. For some of you, Cancer, you may be dealing with a Gemini because I see the first row is a lot of the card, actually all the cards that Gemini got. So you may be dealing with the Gemini. You have the Sun card, the Hierophant, and the Six of Wands. Okay. And the Wheel of Fortune. Okay. I feel like for some of you, um, Cancers, there is hate coming towards you in regards to a relationship that you're either currently in or that you're dealing with. With the Wheel of Fortune, I feel like there is a major shift or a major change in this person's life. For some of you guys, as an example, you started dating a person that had just recently got out of a relationship. That ex-partner is definitely knows about you and is either hating on you or constantly trying to create Um the driftiness or creating a wedge between, you know, you and your partner because they're jealous and they want them back. Basically, this is like the, you know, obsessive ex that doesn't want to move on. Uh, three of swords, nine of swords and the eight of wands. It's like to, to them, their worst nightmare was you. While for you, it was the beginning of a connection or relationship that may potentially turn into something long-term especially for those of you guys that are just recently dealing with someone. Um, for some of you, this could be a person that you're very aware either was married or is currently married, but going through some type of divorce. Um, with the six of wands, I feel like, it, I guess what I'm trying to say is what I'm seeing here is that your blessing to them turned out to be their worst nightmare. Um, so it's almost like they made long-term you know, plans with this person that you're currently now with, or that you currently will be in a relationship with. But to them, it's like, they're not ready to move on and they're going to try whatever they have to try to get them back. My advice is if you can resonate with this reading cancer, try the best you can to talk to your partner and to make it extremely clear that it is crucial to maintain communication 
in this connection if you want it to work out because I feel like this person is very vengeful and they will do things that make it seem like the partner is still dealing with them even though they may not but that's how they want you to perceive it so that it can create an ending to this relationship all right moving on here let's see what's going on with leo leo sun moon rising venus who is hating on leo leo sun moon rising venus who's hating on leo who does leo have to protect their energy from leo sun moon rising venus all right we have the ace of coins here all right here we go we have the ace of coins the six of wands the full card the three of swords the sun card and the hierophant Okay, Leo, what I'm seeing here is you're going through a very abundant time in your life. And I feel for a lot of you guys, you're going to begin to experience this or you're already experiencing it. But for a lot of you guys, this is new energy because we have the full card here. So I feel like you're going into, I'm going to be honest, the best time of your life. Uh, there is a lot of stability that is going to be unfolding. I see you guys building either building relationships, uh, concrete relationships, committed relationships, or building a new home. For others of you building a business, there is a lot of thriving that's happening here. And I feel like someone from your past that you were in a committed relationship with never wanted to see you, never wanted to see you succeed. It's almost like what I'm hearing is to them, they were the best thing for you. And that's something that they can't get over. It's something that they cannot forgive you for, especially those of you guys that walked away from this relationship. It's almost like they wanted you to beg them and they tried the best they can to like make it really difficult for you. Um, Once you found your footing, once you found or got used to or accustomed to not being in that relationship anymore, you've started to grow, you started to expand. And this is something they can't get over. It's kind of like the scenario of, you know, I was the best thing for you. And then boom, you guys separate and you start thriving. It's really hard on an ex to experience that because it's almost like they have no other option than to realize maybe it was me. Maybe I was the problem. And I feel like this energy is, this person is definitely not wanting to accept they were the problem. So it's almost like they were hoping kind of for your downfall or they were hoping that at some point you would come begging them. Um, and it's actually the opposite. And it's almost like they can't get over that hurt. I feel like it had more to do with hurt or the pain that they went through, but it's not so much pain. It's more on an ego base. It's almost like their ego was hurt. They can't believe it. Leo doesn't need them. <laughs> um, but they're quickly realizing, and it's almost like at some point the universe is going to show them that in fact, you were what was best for them. You were the best thing that could have happened to them. They just didn't know how to deal with that type of energy. They didn't know how to deal with a blessing. So Again, I feel like this is the next partner, someone from your past that just hasn't gotten over you. All right, moving on here. Let's see what's going on with Virgos. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Who is hating on Virgo? Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Who is hating on Virgo? Who does Virgo have to protect their energy from? Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right, here we go. All right, Virgo, we have the Two of Cups, the Ace of Wands, the Ace of Coins. Wow. The Empress, the Fool. Jesus Christ, the Six of Wands. All right. Virgo, if you guys are single, you're not going to be single for long. And I feel like for a lot of you guys, it, it's been a bit of a journey. Um, finding a healthy, loving, committed relationship. And I feel like that's finally manifesting for you. However, and unfortunately, it's going to come at the cost of friends and people that you considered friends 
to feel some type of way about it. And you're going to start to experience hate and the aspect of there, to be honest, it's, it's envious and jealousy energy that I'm sensing here. Um, people that are going to pretend to be happy for you, but you're going to start to realize that they're not really happy. They're, they're, they're kind of jealous. Um, and again, I feel like for a lot of you guys, uh, it's going to come as a surprise because it's almost like you felt like it was a struggle or it was really difficult to create some type of balance in your love life or to find a partner that is very much that would bring the balance in your life. But that's definitely coming through for you guys. I see a lot of newness of energy, a lot of abundance coming through for you, Virgos, in regards to your finances, to your career and in your love life. So again, whatever of those areas you were having difficulty with, whether it's in the love life, whether it's in your finances, that's going to begin to boom. It's going to begin to go very well for you. And I feel that those that you thought were friends um, are not going to feel, they're not going to be clapping for you. And you're going to realize that because you're going to experience like receiving backhanded compliments. You're going to experience, um, you know, as an example, you're trying to go out on a, on a night out to celebrate some type of achievement. And you invite 10 people and out of those 10 people, four show up. Like those are the ones that are really happy for you. And the rest that didn't show up is because they, they're not okay with your success. They're not okay with your growth. However, this is something that everyone experiences when you actually experience growth. So my advice to you is see things for what they are, embrace that and pull yourself away from that type of energy because you do not need snakes in your garden, Virgo. All right, moving on here. Finally, let's see what's going on with Libra. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see who is hating on Libra. Who's hating on Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Who does Libra have to protect their energy from? Who is hating on Libra? Who does Libra need to protect their energy from? All right, here we go, Libra. We have the nine of wands. We have the eight of wands, the king of swords, the emperor, 10 of coins, and the page of cups. Okay. I feel like for some of you, uh, Libras, there was a situation with someone that uh, could potentially be another air sign like yourself, an Aquarius, um, Gemini, or a Libra like yourself. Or for others of you, a fire energy, uh, Sagittarius, Aries, or who did I say? Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo type of energy here. Um, this is really weird because I'm getting different messages for some of you guys. Okay, so what I'm directly hearing is there is, if some of you Libras out there are dealing with like a breakup or a temporary separation and there's children involved, I feel like there is an outside energy, um, could be masculine energies. It could be a father figure, or it could be someone that is related to the father figure of your child, uh, that is creating more tension, that is creating more drama, more rumors, so that you guys won't reconnect or that to you guys won't be able to work that relationship out because it's giving me energy of third party energy, but it's coming from the father figure. So again, if you have children, uh, the father of that relationship, their family are either trying to instigate or trying to create rumors so that the partner doesn't come back to you if you are looking for some type of reconciliation. Now, for others of you, if you're dealing with you know, a baby daddy or even a, a baby mama. Um, I feel like the hate's coming from them because they don't want you like to them. They don't want to see you happy because they want you to make them a priority. So it's giving me very selfish type of energy. It's giving me very much like there is no love there, but I also don't want to see you thriving Libra because I should be your priority. And they use your, their children as an excuse to manipulate you 
or to accommodate their needs uh, because their excuse is you should put your kids first. I hope that makes sense. So it's very scattered energy, but there's definitely a child involved in this situation. Um, and I feel like, again, for some of you, for you females out there, if you're dealing with a father figure that has a tendency of manipulating you, like an example, they find out you're going to go out or have a girl's night out and it's their day to take care of your child. Um, but they find out that you are going to go out. It's like, oh, I'm not going to be able to make it. I'm not going to be able to pick them up. I'm not going to be able to, because they don't want you to move on. They don't want you to do good, but they also don't want to step up and do what is expected of them because that's their responsibility. I hope that's making sense. Now for others of you, what I'm seeing here is again, um, like I mentioned, there is definitely a father figure. So this could be a grandfather or a father uh, that doesn't want this connection, um, this connection with, with, with your ex-partner, if that makes sense. Like if there was a separation or some type of breakup and you guys are trying to be amicable because there is a kid involved. I feel like the grandfather or the father figure is the one that creates a lot of this animosity only to create more drama um, because they don't want you to <coughs> have the upper hand, um, especially those of you guys that are mothers, as an example, and you're trying to move on. Um, I feel like the father is the one that's giving you a lot of hate um, because they see that you are, I, that either you're capable of moving on or that you're capable of like making shit happen on your own. And they don't want that. They want you to actually need them. So they're constantly reminding you of, or judging you of how you're treating this child or how you're raising this child. For those of you guys that don't have children, I feel like where this energy is coming from is that there's a masculine energy that was very interested in getting to know you. Um, but something happened or perhaps an ex-partner came back into your life, Libra, and that's not sitting well with them because it's almost like they feel rejected. Be careful, especially if you're dealing with someone that you're trying to work out, but you used to talk to this person. Like if they casually text you, like don't respond because I feel like they can try to burn you by sending screenshots or by sending like proof to the partner that you are currently trying to work out a relationship with and saying like, oh, your girl or your guy was hitting me up and here's like the proof of it. And they're only doing that out of spite because you rejected them. So again, take the messages that resonate, whatever doesn't resonate, don't take it, but heed the warning. <laughs> All right, my lovelies, I hope you guys were able to enjoy these readings, like, share, and comment. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and stay posted. We have tons of new videos coming for you, as well as a bunch of spell work coming through for you guys, especially getting ready for the new year. I want to wish you guys all the very best, and we'll see each other soon. Till then, bye.